Okay, a day with Caleb. Josh, the movie collector, is here. Where are we in Josh's room, I wonder? Well, our friend David and Daniel hooked us up again with some wrestling DVDs. Now, you might think, why are they in stacks, especially this little stack here? <laughs> well, the tiniest stack is Josh's stack Yay. right now. He had this stack too, but I gotta see if I need them. This middle stack here is stuff I have, but I gotta check condition. This big stack is stuff I don't have. If you've seen my WWE Wrestling DVD collection, it was divided into two parts because I have so much wrestling uh, media, DVDs, Blu-rays, and yet, I, I, out of all that, there's just two little stacks that I don't need. I thought need. you were going to get like 10, <laughs> maybe 15. <laughs> well, he, see, year by year, I just do WrestleMania, Royal Rumble. He did Fastlane, he did Survivor Series. There's a bunch of those uh, year by year. All the WrestleMania... I have and Royal Rumble. I got a check condition. Some might be in better condition. What year is this one? It doesn't. Twenty fifteen, maybe. So he has twenty fifteen to twenty twenty on these. I think. <clears throat> so. All right, so we're gonna dive right in. I gotta look and see if I need that stack. The little one or the, the, <laughs> the this stack? I, I have those. Those are ones I do have. So we're going to go through and see what all I need. And then uh, I'll show you a final pickups video. And I'll show Josh's little stack <laughs> off maybe too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a video as well. Yeah. So see the four things... I get Josh will show home. off his five DVDs <laughs> that he will get. <laughs> uh, tell people maybe why you're not getting the Royal Rumbles. Because there's well, quite a few there. I will watch them and see, but I don't really like collecting year by year. Because then you have to keep collecting, yeah. which you do. But something like the history of... Like the story of, yeah, that's a good. Set. That's intriguing. Like documentaries, I enjoy. Hmm. Just not every single match. So, I am surprised though that Daniel does not have the last ride, or maybe he kept that. That's because be Undertaker is one of mine and Daniel's favorite wrestler. Sting is up there. But I'd say throughout his whole career, Undertaker is my favorite wrestler. Even though we started in WCW and we were big NWO, yeah. Wolfpack. I would probably say Sting. You would Sting. still say Sting? Oh. So, um, maybe he kept that. I hope he did, because that is a good, good series. If you think of Michael Jordan and the last uh, dance, the last dance, I think. that's Undertaker's like that, but it's the last ride, and it shows kind of his last few years uh, deciding if he wanted to return or not, how to go out the best way, the best match, end on a high note. So anyway, we're rambling about <laughs> wrestling uh, people, but we're going to go for life to sweet. Uh, but we'll show you everything that I get, which will be a lot, <laughs> and <laughs> the little amount that Josh gets. Josh's little wrestling corner here. <laughs> oh, 
on Wrestling Corner with Josh, we talk about the little stag that I was able to get. All right, quickly, because mine's going to be a 30-minute video. Well, two of these were upgrades. I had these. These are in bad condition. Factions. Good, good, uh, good series here. Best of Saturday Night Main Event. Scott Hall, probably in the peace. second coolest thing. True Johns, The Rock, Dudley Boys, Best of NXT, that's probably my third favorite. And the story of the Royal Rumble. Now this Rock set, I have the first version, they re-released it, which is that version, mm -hmm. but... And it's signed. Okay, we might be talking about that. <laughs> so I might be losing one of the ten things I had. <laughs> I was just going to point out. Now we go to my big box of wrestling DVDs. Okay, since Josh isn't as big on these autograph ones, and it's basically. Pretty much the same set with the exception of a few updated matches. I think we're going to switch out. This this is my version I had here. And that's the updated version there. So, thanks buddy. we we'll just dive right in this big box. Uh, Battleground Listener versus Rollins. This is Judgment Day. I don't see a year. Probably early 2000s there. Ring in the Holiday. So it looks like Mick Foley and maybe some Christmas there. Then uh, Money in the Bank 2015. Survivor Series 2017. TLC 2015, SummerSlam 2019, and these, these that were released by years, like I said, I don't have any of them, which was surprising to me, especially these Survivor Series, Survivor Series 2018, uh, Fastlane and Elimination Chamber, I do have the anthology of the Illumination Chamber, but it only goes up to a certain point. Uh, Super Showdown. Payback and Backlash. Extreme Rules. Uh, Battleground 2016. TLC 2016. TLC 2017, okay. Payback 2015, SummerSlam 2016, SummerSlam 2018, uh, Roadblock 2016, Money in the Bank 2018, Fastlane and Elimination Chamber, I don't see the year. Probably recently. More recently. SummerSlam 2015. Payback 2016. Uh, let's see. Raw Smackdown Backlash 2018. One Night Stand Extreme Rules. I have Extreme Rules, I think I've like 04 or 03 maybe. Oh, Blockbuster exclusive bonus disc, I didn't see that. SummerSlam 2017. Trish and Lita Best Friends Better Rivals. I did almost get this recently because I saw a commercial on it. Fastlane 2016. Extreme Rules. 2018. Now, let's see. I'm trying to get all the loose ones kind of first. Survivor Series 2015. Uh, Night of Champions 2015. 
That was that was Sting. Uh, Money in the Bank 2016. Extreme Rose Money in the Bank 2017. I wonder where he got these double feature sets. I wonder if that was at Walmart. Makes me wonder. Hell in a Cell 2018. Then uh, this is too cool. Brock Lesnar. Uh, the collector set. Now I gotta see. I have a Brock Lesnar set. I don't know if it's this one. But this one comes with gloves <laughs> so I can be Brock Lesnar that that is too cool <laughs> and then I think the rest of these are sets so we'll start with these first the attitude error which I have volume one I almost got volume two and three recently but I decided not to glad I did I decide to wait because now we got them in the collection no charge so that is great the only the only thing is volume one is blu-ray these are dvds but beggars cannot be choosers so i'm very happy about that dawn of the attitude era or dawn of the attitude this would be the 97 kind of the WWF uh, breakout, uh, the year was 1997, see? Then, uh, then now, forever, the Evolution uh, Women's Division. And you can see right in front there, Ronda Rousey. Very cool. U.S. Championship, A Legacy of Greatness. Smackdown, the best of 10th anniversary, 9 on to 2009. Then, uh, Kurt Angle, the essential collection. I don't think I have any of Kurt Angle, so that is cool. Uh, the Great American Bash, the best of United We Slam. That is pretty cool. Sting there in his American war paint. Then, uh, the best of In Your House. Pay-per-view classics, 95 to 1999. That is cool. These two, I've seen a bunch. The American Slam and In Your House. But I've never actually picked them up to, to purchase. So, that is cool to have those in the collection. Best of 2000s, WWE. Uh, the best of Raw Smackdown, Smackdown Live 2016, and then 2017. So it's cool to have some of these years uh, back in the collection. Raw, the best of 2010. Uh, NXT, the best of 2017. Survivor Series 30 Years Of. So that's cool. That's like a compilation. 50 Years The History of WWE. That's very cool. Uh, 30 Years Of SummerSlam. The Best of the Hardy Boys. Raw 100 Moments in Raw History. That's pretty neat. Then, uh, the best of Raw Smackdown 2015. So we have 15, 16, 17, and 14. <laughs> that is very cool. Last but not least, unreleased, never before seen matches, 1986 to 1995. That is very cool. So that, that was all the collection there. Oh, let me show you this. We showed these before, uh, but uh, Re WrestleMania, some, well, the, these were all that Daniel had, but these on the end here, uh, I made a mistake early on. Uh, 
So I put essentially put all these together in a big case. Uh, that way they were all together and I could just pull it out and watch it when I want to. But I want the artwork back with the year. I do have the years on the, on this kind of makeshift case, but I kind of want these back. And then these will just will check condition. If I don't need them, Josh will trade them in. Uh, in a Brock Lesnar trading card, I do believe I have this, but I gotta double check. And I don't think it's current, but I'll mark that off. Uh, digital code. We'll see if it works or not for WrestleMania 2017. So that was it, and we showed these already, but. Uh, we're going to switch out my rock set for this one. Uh, not the only reason, but a big reason because of the autograph there. So that's cool. Uh, thanks, David, for setting this up. Uh, Mark, if he did anything. And, of course, Daniel. Uh, we've been wrestling uh, fanatics for a long time. Our group is called the Wolf Pack because we grew up in that era, uh, NWO, For Life, uh, all that, and so that is very special. And our our kind of greeting, me and Daniel, is the X, uh, kind of all encompassing. It's X Men. It's part of wrestling history, and now it's Black Panther. Uh, so that's neat, uh, too sweet. I could go on about wrestling, but, uh, it's good to continue getting movies. Uh, just anything you collect, spread the word, let people know that you collect a certain thing. And nine times out of ten, if they're getting rid of stuff, they're gonna be like, hey... He collects that. Let's ask him if he wants it. So I did not expect this many wrestling DVDs. Uh, <clears throat> but it's good to beef up the collection. Because right now it's just one row. We're going to have to somehow uh, go to a second row somewhere in here. Because <laughs> we're out of room I'm sure now. Uh, thanks to this. Uh, thanks to my wolf pack for always uh, watching my back. And thank you all for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share with the movie Wrestling Lover. Until next time, for life. <laughs>